Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Paul and with the Dicey Review. And today, by popular request, we're going to be looking at how to play the two-player variant for Scout the Card Game from Oink Games. When setting up for the two-player game, the Scout and Show chips won't be used, and you'll need to remove from the deck the card that shows both the 9 and 10. After that, when setting up for a round, when determining the start player, each player will get three Scout chips, and then each player will be dealt a hand of 11 cards. After each player is dealt their hand of cards, this will leave 22 cards for the second round. The two-player game is played in exactly the same way as the 3-5 player game of Scout, with the following changes. Players can no longer scout and show on their turn. And if a player does want to scout, so for instance if this player wanted to take one of these nines, they would have to put one of their three scout chips in the middle of the table to be able to do that. Players can also take a show action just like normal to play cards to beat what's on the middle of the table. That part remains unchanged. In the two-player version of the game, the round will end as soon as one player can't scout or show on their turn. So for instance, if this player wasn't able to beat the run played by this player, and they don't have any chips left to allow them to scout, the round would be over and you would score just like normal, gaining positive points for any cards that you've claimed and losing points for any cards left in your hand. The round can also end by one player running out of cards just like normal as well. For the next round, the starting player would change, each player would grab three of their scout chips to use for the next round, and then the deck of cards containing 22 cards would then be dealt evenly between the two players, giving each player 11 cards each. And after two rounds of playing, the game would be over in a two-player variant. All right, everybody, that was our video. Hopefully it was helpful and informative. As always, if you have any questions about how to play this version of the game, please comment below or email me directly at thedicereview at gmail.com. You can connect with us on social media or by visiting our Board Game Geek Guild. And just like always, if you enjoy the content, if you find value in what we're putting out, please make sure to like, subscribe, and follow the channel. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you at the table.